Hi, dear friends, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the morphology of the mandibular deciduous lateral incisors. So the mandibular des deciduous lateral incisors, they are the second teeth from the midline and they perform cutting fu function with the other in anterior teeth. So uh, these teeth, they emerge into the oral cavity around the age of 13 months and the root is completed by the age of one and a half year. These teeth, they are replaced by a process of exfoliation around the age of seven to eight years when the permanent mandibular lateral incisors, they emerge into the oral cavity. So now we will discuss the morphology of the permanent of the deciduous mandibular lateral incisors from various aspects. So uh, from the labial aspect, the crown and the root they are smooth with no developmental depressions or grooves. While in the permanent incisors, there are a number of grooves, developmental grooves on the labial surface of the incisors. The crown of this tooth, it is wider, mesiodistally and longer cervicoincisally than the deciduous mandibular central incisor. The incisal ridge, this is the incisal ridge of the tooth and the incisal ridge of the mandibular deciduous lateral incisor, it slopes towards the distal side. So from the mesial towards the distal side, there is a slope in the incisal ridge. While in the deciduous central incisor, this incisal ridge, it was straight. Now, there are two angles in the crown. This angle is known as the mesioincisal angle. And this angle is known as the distoincisal angle. So in the mandibular lateral incisors, both of these angles, the mesoincisal and the distoincisal angle, they are more rounded, while the distoincisal angle, it is more rounded than the mesoincisal angle. The root, it is single and conical in shape, conical in shape and in this model, it is straight, while in some specimen, there is a slight curvature in the apical third towards the distal side. So this is a lingual aspect. This part, this raised area is the cingulum. It is more well developed than the central incisor. This raised area is the mesial marginal ridge and this is the distal marginal ridge. These, both of these ridges, they are more well developed than the than the deciduous mandibular central incisor. There's a concavity in this area and this concavity is known as lingual fossa and this lingual fossa is more deeper because of the well-developed marginal ridges and the cingulum. The crown and the root, they converge towards the lingual sides. That's why the part of the mesial surface of the tooth and the distal surface of the tooth, they are visible from the lingual aspect. This is a mesial aspect of the tooth and on the mesial aspect, convexity is evident both on the labial side and the lingual side of the crown. The curvature of the cervical line, it is more on the mesial side like other anterior teeth. The root, it is flat and there is no developmental depression or, or groove on the mesial side of the root. This is the distal aspect and on the distal aspect, the only difference is that the cervical line curvature, it is less uh, because uh, as in cervical line curvature it is less. On the root surface there is a slight developmental depression or groove on the distal surface of the root. The crown height it is slightly less because there is a slope of the incisal ridge from the mesial towards the distal side. Now this is the incisal aspect. In, on the incisal aspect, there is a curvature of the incisal ridge from the mesial towards the distal side. 
and the crown uh, and the tooth it follows the curvature of the dental arch that's why this tooth it is not symmetrical because of this curvature and the slope of the incisal ridge from mesial towards the distal side this is a cingulum of this tooth and the cingulum when you will see the models uh, the cingulums they are more offset towards the distal side The labial surface of the tooth, it is convex, while the lingual side because of more development of the marginal ridges and the cingulum, the lingual surface, it is more concave as compared to the mandibular central incisor. So uh, this is all about the, uh, about the deciduous mandibular lateral incisor. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Please do give us your feedback in the comments. Again, thank you so much and stay blessed.